Hi folks, our fourth uh, voting rule is called as board account or rank order voting. It's proposed by Borda in 1781. Uh, once again, voters rank candidates. Uh, so assuming that we have n many candidates, a candidate gets n points for every voter who ranks her first. n minus 1 points for every voter who ranks her second, and so on. All right, and then we add up all those points and whoever gets the highest point uh, wins the, uh, uh, I mean, becomes the winner. All right, that's how the board account works. So in our example one, we have four uh, candidates. So we basically give four points to the first best, all right, and then three points for the second best, two points for the third best, and the last candidate gets only one point. All right. So in this case, for example, what is the board account of candidate A? Well, three people ranks him first. So four times three, remember for each voter, he gets uh, four points. So four times three, 12 plus five people votes him second. Uh, first again, and so 5 times 4, 20, plus 7 people votes him uh, last, and also another 6 people, so 13 people votes him last, so 13 times 1, plus 13, so basically uh, this is uh, 35 to 20, 55 points. So what about candidate B? Uh, so candidate B is ranked second, uh, by nine people, nine voters. So therefore three times nine, 27 plus. Uh, B is ranked first only by seven people. So seven times four, 28 plus. Uh, I don't know why I started uh, from the second rank. Anyway, uh, the third rank B uh, is third ranked by five people. So 10. And then finally, B never been ranked uh, last, so uh, no plus one point. So that's it. Well, the total point is here, 28, 27 plus 28. So this is 40, uh, 55, another 10, 65 points. So B beats A, for example. So A doesn't, isn't the winner. Well, what about C and D? Well, C is the first best only for six people, so six times four, 24 points. And then C is the second best for five people, so 15 points, three times five. And then C is the second best for three plus seven, 10 people, so two times 10, 20. So <clears throat> this is uh, 24, 15, so I have 39 here, and then uh, another 20, uh, I have 59 here. Well, it doesn't beat uh, B. Well, what about D? I don't think it's going to cut uh, because uh, B is D is never a first best. It is a second best for seven people. So three times seven, 21 points uh, there. And then six people uh, puts in the third best. And so it's two times six, uh, 12. And then finally, eight people ranks him last. So eight times one. So I have 2041. So that's it. Well, as you see, the highest point uh, uh, goes to candidate B, and hence candidate B is the winner uh, under this preference profile. All right. So therefore, board account is going to select alternative B in this case. Well, what about this case? Well, exactly the same thing. Four points, three points, two points, one point. Remember, as long as we have n many candidates, n, n minus one, n minus two, etc., and then all we have to do is just multiply the points uh, and the number of voters and the rank of the uh, candidate, add them up, and calculate the board account for each candidate, and then the highest, uh, you know, uh, the the candidate who gets the highest point uh, becomes the winner. As simple as this. Okay.